So we've gone three bet to three seven five. Rodrigo's called. Jamie has four bet to one point seven. And now it's back down to Vinny, who's up to twenty k from five. Yeah, I can't see Vinny calling tower. Jamie here, ace 10. Definitely one we can mix into the four bet bluff range. Ace 10 off can be in there, especially versus Ben as well, who's more than capable of finding three bet bluffs. So this ace 10, not a bad candidate to choose. Obviously, we're not going to four bet 100% of the time, only going to be at a small frequency, but it will find its way in there. Now on Ben towering. This is a dicey spot this deep, just because of how deep we are. I think we're just supposed to play flat here on the bottom with position. Don't think we're going to be five betting here because Jamie's still obviously got the aces and kings. Although we block them, only three combos of aces, three combos of kings from our perspective. Can we, but we can tower, but I just think this deep against a forward bet, four bet here from Jamie that we're supposed to just flat. It is just flat. You drink it? No. Now Rodrigo getting a really attractive price. Mm. With the king being suited. But we're only in for 390 tower, so probably happy to fold the king queen. I think you'll be aware that so likely to be in a dominated spot here. But look at this, 3.9k in the middle already. In the tank is our Rodrigo. I'd be surprised if we called Tower. And the other thing I will mention as well, he's got four 1K plaques there and probably a 2K stack of things. So he is actually a lot deeper than what the graphic shows. Um, I'd be surprised if Rodrigo was going to come along here after this yeah. action that has just occurred. So here we go, guys. Nearly 4K in the middle. Four bet pop between Jamie Lee and Ben Battle of the GUKPC champions. Jamie winning Luton last year. Ben winning Manchester back in 2019. Jack 9-7. Rainbow. Yes, we have flop day. Gut shot here as Jamie. If we are going to elect to see bet, should be a fairly small size choice here. But Ben will definitely have the jacks, the nines here. I'm not sure he's always going to be free betting sevens. But I think it's a board we will play some checks on as Jamie as the four better. He does choose to check. And over to Ben. With the ace king. Now I've got to start thinking about Jamie's range. I think Ben will be aware Jamie's good enough here to be checking some over pairs. The ace is the kings because we're just more likely to have the nines, jacks, these type of hands. I guess Jamie will call four jacks as well, can have top set. Then when his options up, it looks like he's going to be firing. Oh, 1.1. Yeah, 1.1. Small size in here. It's going to be a small size choice in the four bet pot. And Jamie, just expect him to play check call here, Tower. Getting this price over four and a half to one on the call. Should just be a check call from him. He does elect a check call, but look at this pot 6.1k in the middle, and the best hand is Ace of King Hyatt. Her turn. Oh my word. And this is danger for Ben now, Tower. This is dangerous because Ben, in theory, here as the caller of the four bet, should probably have a lot more 10x here than Jamie. So, in terms of ranges, he's going to have a few more straights here than Jamie. So, it may be a card that Ben might start taking off on here just because of the 10x advantage that we should have in this spot as Jamie as the four better and us as the caller. Surely Jamie just has to play check here for that reason as well. And Ben did have the better lead after firing flop. That's 
I'd be surprised if he did lead tower. He's had a little glance at his chip, so he is going to lead. You see the dark blue chips? Plaques? Yep. The 5k. They're 5k. The dark blue plaques are 5k. So that looks like just under six. No, no, it's not. Oh, the that 500. one's a 500. There is, yeah, there's a different one. So 2600. That was the bet. That was a 500. That's a massive pot here already. I think Ben now going to get away from it. The thing is here, Tara, Jamie checks Ben might have gone for it. Oh, oh well, he going is going to go for it. He is going to go for it. He just knows he's got the 10x advantage. And he is drawing dead to a chop. Ben has gone after it. Jamie Snap calls nine of spades on the river. And we got a 24k pot in a 5-5-10 wow. five, game. <laughs> ben Maragets going after it. Can't fault the heart. But oh my word. Was not expecting that tower. Just unleashes the 9k rip on the turn with Ace King High. Drawing dead to a chop, and all that's down to is the 10x advantage that Ben should have in that spot. But oh my word, that was wow. something else. 24k pot going Jamie Lee's way. Ben bluffing for chunks. <laughs> that takes some caliber tower. Like, oh, and he just sat like, there. And I know. Nonchalantly went I know you shot. may be watching. Looks like Ben's just dusted off 10, 11k, but. Not many people can pull the trigger for that amount of money. But Ben was just going on the 10x advantage there. That's all it can be, Tower. Jamie is the four bet are going to have less 10x than Ben as the caller of the four bet. All right, everyone. Um, Jamie scooping by far the biggest pot of the night. And I think that's going to sport him well over a 20k profit now. Yeah, yeah. What a hand. 25,000 pound hand. Have you seen it live? And uh, look at Jamie's stack. That just looks beautiful there, literally. Lovely looking poker stack. More to come, please, stream. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers.